Oh, well, Darkest Goth fans, I'm sitting next to a legend, Mr. Butch Patrick, known for his lovable character, Eddie Munster, in the famous show, The Munsters. So, thank you, Mr. Patrick, for being with us. Butch, please. Okay, Butch. Yep. Well, first of all, I have to ask you about your pet, Spot. I have noticed uh, many episodes where that fire breather seems to get pretty close. So I was going to ask you, were there ever any accidents or mishaps with Spot? Uh, well, luckily he never really burnt me. I had long sleeves on and, you know, a velvet jacket. But it got a little warm, no doubt about it. I, I wouldn't want to, uh, let me put it this way, I wouldn't want to spend too much time near that banister. <laughs> okay. Um, I actually have a coworker that I work with, and I told her about the monsters. We were talking about old TV shows, and she's an older lady, and she told me that when she was younger, she was not allowed to watch the monsters because it was evil. So, did you have to, ever have to deal with parents not letting their kids be around you, or any people accusing you of being part of an evil show or being an outcast? Uh, no, I've been very lucky in that respect. That I, I mean, I know there's some people out there, but luckily for me, they haven't come across my table yet. Okay, that's good. Um, I read that you first landed a role in a 60s B-movie called uh, The Two Little Bears. Mm -hmm. What could you tell us about that? Well, it was a great little first effort movie for me. I'd never worked before. They hired me with no experience. Eddie Albert played my father. Jane Wyatt, you know, legendary father knows best mother, played my mom. Soupy Sales was the comic relief officer, policeman who kept bringing us back home. Nancy Culp was my school teacher. And believe it or not, Brenda Lee was 15 years old. And she was a singing sensation, and she played my older sister. So six weeks work with these classic people, and uh, it, it taught me a lot about how to be an actor. Okay. So your on-screen parents... Uh, Fred and Yvonne uh, playing Herman and Lily. What were they like off screen? What was your relationship with them off screen as a child? They were very nice. Uh, in fact, everybody on the set was very nice. They all had children of their own. Uh, they made it very kid friendly. And a lot of people may not know this, but Leave It the Beaver was produced by the same people. So the crew had been together for seven years as the producers with a very kid friendly show. So it made it easy for me to uh, fit right in. Okay. Um, well, also related to the Munsters a little bit, um, I've heard about your band, Eddie and the Monsters. Yeah, 1983, MTV came on the air. I decided I wanted to, wanted to do rock videos, and I thought a good way to uh, introduce myself to the rock video world would be to do one. So I wrote the lyrics to the Munsters theme, put the band together, and we did Whatever Happened to Eddie. We were the first unsigned act to ever be on MTV on Super Bowl Sunday, which was kind of a nice feather in our cap. And they went on to form the basement tapes from that idea. Uh, we never did perform. It was strictly a studio band. But uh, I like to think I was uh, helpful in, in helping some careers get started. Awesome. So, Butch, um, I'm sure you feel very blessed to actually be a cancer survivor. Yeah, definitely. Uh, came at me uh, totally out of left field. But um, I found out back in September of... 2011 and had it removed prostate cancer i'm cancer free now it'll be four years september 19th awesome and currently you work with uh, indie films you work with a lot with indie films yeah i do indie films i try to get back to the community that got me to here and it seems like a lot of people that do indie films love the monsters so yeah it's a good fit okay well, we'll wrap this up with just asking you um you know aside from being known as legendary eddie munster mm -hmm. you know what would you feel is your greatest accomplishment and also your your greatest challenge probably surviving the 60s and 70s and uh, getting my life together at a late at the age of 57 after 41 years of partying i saw the light and uh been sober almost five years now and when i mean sober i mean sober across the board nothing you know no no, no drugs no no pot no nothing and i'm really proud of that so i think that's probably been my greatest accomplishment so far and i get to help others uh, with issues like that mm -hmm. What about your greatest challenge? Greatest challenge? Um, well, I think it's coming up right now. I just purchased my grandma's old haunted house, built in 1875, haunted. I have to not only restore it, but I have to figure out, you know, how to make this into a a, um, a viable place to visit and live, and um, all of the above. But I'm looking forward to it. I think it's going to be great. It's going to be a lot of fun. A lot of pro I've already had over, you know, 3,000 people contact me regarding the house about wanting to help. So I think coordinating all that will be an interesting deal. Awesome. Well, thank you very much for your time. You're welcome. Butch Patrick, everybody.